Good morning and welcome to a Dragon PMA tutorial. On today's tutorial I just want to quickly run through some Bluetoothy stuff. You know the technology of, of 10 meter Bluetoothy informationy, you know, like headsets and file transfer on mobile phones or cell phones as you call them. Well, not necessarily you because I don't know who you are to be honest, but I'm, I mean the Americans. Anyway, um, Bluetooth technology has been in Apple Macs as standard since poor yonks and yonks and yonks ago and I still see PCs today without this Bluetooth technology. Uh, I think it's it's stupid really. Um, when I first got my Mac I actually ticked the little Bluetooth and airport option a bit dubiously because I didn't know what it was to be honest. Um, although Bluetooth dongles and stuff like that were starting to come out. Um, Mac had it straight in the Mac and I'm glad I, I ticked that little option, paid something crap like £15 extra to get it in. Um, right, so I'm going to show you Bluetooth because it's it's something that Mac uh, has done for years and years and years and PC users just don't get the chance unless you went out and bought a dongle and see how easy it is on a Mac compared to a PC. So first of all in your hardware option there's this Bluetooth thing. So what do I do? I click it. By the way, is in system preferences. If you didn't know, which you should have knew, but anyway. And here we have tabs, settings, devices, and sharing. Blah blah blah. Right. So if I just quickly go to the devices tab, it'll tell you what devices I have connected to the to the. I was going to call it a Wii, but it's not the Wii, is it? It's the <laughs> the Mac Mini. Um, that's my mobile phone or cell phone. I'm going to be calling it a mobile phone because I'm British, spiffing and darling. And all that jazz. Anyway, um, Dragon Pimmy, that's my mobile phone. Sarah, which is my sister's Lisa's friend, they always come around and have some fun playing Cooking Mama and all that crap. It's, it's very good, I must admit. Um, anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. Um, Nintendo Wii remotes for certain things like um, Remote Buddy, which I have up here. Anyway, so your devices are listed here. If it's got a heart, it's set as a favourite, so it's something that's connected frequently. And if it's got a key, it means it's the pass key has been like verified. Um, okay, so removing it from the list is simply remove from favourites, takes away the heart, or delete. Um, what I usually do is just press delete, for example, for the Wii Remote, delete, delete. Voila, and if it's connected and you press d delete, you can click the disconnect to disconnect, or you can just press delete and it'll come up with the thing. Are you sure you want to disconnect and delete? So you're like, yeah, hurry up because I'm, I'm, I want something to eat. So, what do you do? First of all, you turn your Bluetooth on and off in the settings on, off, on, off, etc. And you should, for some reason, I don't have a, a little thing in the top. So, see, I've got this tick show Bluetooth status in the menu bar. Um, that should be in the top. But for some reason, it's not. There it is. I knew it would be there somewhere. Um, allow Bluetooth uh, devices to wake the computer. For example, if you've got it asleep and you connect to it with using your mobile phone, and voila, it wakes up. Um, open Bluetooth Assistant at startup. Uh, when, For example, that you have a Bluetooth mouse that you've bought from Apple and okay how on earth am I going to connect the Bluetooth mouse without a mouse to connect it with do you know what I mean because you need to use a mouse to clicky here and clicky there so the Bluetooth assistant will start up if you don't have any kind of keyboard or mouse plugged in to um, pretty much tell the computer oh wait a second I'm going to look for some Bluetooth mice here just because if they don't have a mouse then they can't click yes or no so I'm going to do it automatically I thought that was really good really handy because when I started my computer and I never had a keyboard and I was like whoa what's this about but it, I've learned that it's because there's Bluetooth mice and stuff and you can't click here without a mouse so it does it automatically etc and the computer is discoverable don't know why I did it backwards but anyway so sharing you clicky start for all the things you want to do so for example um, file transfers file exchange and PDS, PDA syncing. Um, I just clicked on for all of them <laughs> and where you want people to browse. So for example if I go on my mobile phone and click browse device and go on mini um, I can tell it actually why don't you go and browse my desktop. Okay. <laughs> Giving access to lots of things and require pairing for security access. It's all pretty basic stuff but 
So, how do we transfer a file from uh, the mobile phone to the computer? Well, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. And on my mobile phone here, I am just going to select a quick photo um, going through the options. So, I'm going to select this photo, more, send via Bluetooth. Um, I select the mini. And it's connected. So I'm sitting here waiting. La di da di da. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Um, the mobile phone seems to be doing something. And voila! Up pops a box. What is it? It's name, vista.jpg, blah blah blah. Accept. And it transfers. Pretty easy, pretty quickly, and no hassle, really. Um, okay, the, the file is saved. You click. The, the little spotlight button to find out where it is and you can either leave it where it is which is in documents or you can just drag it to the desktop and um, voila your file is transferred that was the easiest bluetooth thing I've ever seen ever and what is the picture you may ask it's this why because I'm not a fan of windows <laughs> don't ask me why that's on my mobile phone don't know um, okay so what about doing it vice versa you want to send a photo for example I have this picture called cat in the mac <laughs> See, it's in the little Macintosh there. Um, too bad the insides were ripped out anyway. So, how do you send it using Bluetooth? So, Bluetooth, send file. And you see in the dock, it comes up a, a Bluetooth file ex exchange. You select your file in the list, cat in the Mac, send. And select the device, be it all these. Uh, I'll choose Drag and PME, send. And my mobile phone goes do 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 do. Are you sure you want to accept this file? Yes. Um, sending, sending, sending. Saved in pictures on memory stick. Use now. Yes. And voila. Um, you can't really see, but I have the photo on my mobile phone for me to look at and be like, oh, poor cat in a Mac, cat in a Mac, instead of a hat. Anyway, right. So that's Bluetooth stuff in a nutshell. Um, can't really help you much more than that, can I? Uh, apart from if you want to set up a Bluetooth mouse, simply click on your Bluetooth icon, which is already there by default. Sorry, excuse me. Um, set up a Bluetooth device and you get this wizard and you can set up a mouse, a keyboard, mobile phone, printer, headset or any device. I always go to any device for things like my Wii remotes if the program itself doesn't automatically do it, which most of them do. So, for example, you're going to set up a, a mouse. Continue. Um, it will do a search for all mice within the region. Um, a click continue or whatever. I'm not sure how it works if you don't have a mouse connected, but I'm sure they've thought about this. Um, same with keyboard and mobile phone, blah blah blah. It's so so easy. This wizard um, it just makes things so much easier. I, apart from, you know, like in in win, in Windows when you're trying to do this that, and then you've got all these you do this crap on your screen. Uh, to do this in the, I mean the concept is the same but the software on the Mac is just so much easier to use compared to Windows I mean I don't know about you but how many times I've turned around and just gave up with Bluetooth uh, technology on my PC it's been unbelievable I mean I am talking about Windows XP here not Vista I don't know how it's changed since XP and Vista for Windows but I don't care why because it works perfectly on my Mac right uh, thanks for listening I hope I didn't bore you to death uh, have fun uh, leave a comment below if you want to um, and I'll see you next in the next tutorial hopefully if not then sorry <laughs>